Hey everyone, welcome to my plan with me for the week of May 22nd through the 28th. I'm using the Ew David kit from Scribble Prints Co., which is Shit's Creek themed. That was a freebie, and these were an add-on that I got. There's a lot of boxes in this. Um, and I have pulled my labels, so some of these will be missing. I pretty much used this whole sheet. And then I've got a foiled label uh, add-on from Scribble Prints Go in copper. Quote overlays from Kristen's Planner, which are just so perfect. <laughs> And that's probably my favorite quote from the show. I just love that scene. It makes me feel very seen. So, <laughs> um, and then I got these, just these copper overlays from Plan With Me stickers. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I brought them in. Um, and then this from Scribble Prints Co. From like an old bundle. And then I got a foil bundle from Plan With Me stickers in copper, just the sparkle bundle. Um, so yeah, I just thought, you know, the basic sparkles would go well. And then I did use some of the scripts. So I will go ahead and get started on the base. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the base. So the first thing I'm marking is that it's May and I am using a script from Nick Plans. And then moving down, I am marking that it is three weeks until I see Fallout Boy with that little 
um, Roland Munchkin from Once More With Love and a three weeks script from Carly Plans, which I do PR for Carly Plans. So if you would like a discount and my freebie, use the code Laurel15 for 15% 15 off. And if she is doing a sale, then just put my name in the notes for my freebie as well. And then I also marked uh, that it is four weeks until my surgery, which I believe that is a Patrick Munchkin. Um, there's only a couple of them that I was like not 100% sure, sure who they're supposed to be, but I'm pretty sure that's Patrick. Okay, so getting into Monday, the first thing that I marked was that I was up early. Um, up the house next to me has recently been purchased. It's been vacant like the entire time we have lived here, which I think has been like four years. And um, so somebody bought it and they're basically gutting it and re renovating it, which it needs very badly. But they started hammering and like re-roofing the house at 7.27. Yes, I know the exact time because I was very annoyed <laughs> in the morning. Um, so I woke up early, which sucked because we had stayed up pretty late the night before knowing that we were leaving, but we weren't leaving early, so we didn't have to get up early. So that was unfortunate. Um, so yeah, we got up early, then I took a shower, um, we packed, and then we took a little break in packing to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, uh, because I was in pain and just needed that break. So for getting up early, I have that little hammer pig from McPlans and an up early script from Carly Plans. And then for showering, I have this little rubber duck from Carly Plans, as well as a shower time script from her. For packing, I have this little Maro from uh, Paper and Milk and a pack script from McPlans. And then for watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I have that uh, Johnny Rose Munchkin and a Brooklyn Nine-Nine custom. Um, that's Once More With Love and that's Carly Plans. And I could cut that, but I don't, I don't have my slice tool and I don't really feel like going to get it. So I'm going to leave that. It's okay. So the next thing we did on Monday was that we drove to Illinois, which I guess I should really say my husband did because I wanted to help drive like half the way, but I really just wasn't feeling good enough physically, unfortunately. And it was a really stressful drive too, so that sucked. And then um, once we got to Illinois, to my in-law's house, we had dinner with them because we got there right around dinner time. Um, so they cooked like pork, potatoes, and veggies, which that was really good. Um, and then we just had some family time. We were just like talking, watching TV, kind of, you know, both at the same time. And then um, I like had a heart to heart with my husband that night. So that was nice. So for traveling to Illinois... I have that uh, girl in the car from McPlans and the two Illinois script from Carly Plans, which is a custom. And then for eating dinner, I have that uh, plate of food from Carly Plans and a family dinner script from a shop that's not open anymore, but I'm just trying to use them up. And then for like TV and talking and stuff, I have that Mutt Munchkin and family time script uh, that's from what's worth love and that is from mcplans and then for having a heart to heart i have that heart lock from carly plans and a brian custom from mcplans which is my husband's name so on tuesday we woke up and we had family cuddles um 
whenever we're on vacation or just big, like not staying at home, uh, we don't bring our older dog Evie's crate because it's just too much work and it upsets her. She thinks she's like in trouble because she's in the same room with us but not in bed. So she just sleeps in our bed. So, um, so we were just cuddling that morning. Um, and then we had like out, we had time outside, like we got our, we ate breakfast and then we brought our, um, my tea, his coffee outside and had that on the patio because my in-laws have just finished their, uh, screened in patio, which is super nice because the bugs are already pretty bad down there. So yeah. <laughs> So it's really nice. Um, that was a fun time. And then we, um, I'm a part of like a wine club near my hometown area and they ship me wine normally. But since I knew I was going to be there, I just asked, hey, can you just go ahead and hold it and I'll pick it up. So we, um, we were going out to go ahead and pick it up. And since we were, we did stop by another winery too. We just had like a glass of wine and picked up a couple bottles there too. So, um, you know, while we were there, it was, it was nice. Um, it was pretty chill because it was, you know, a Tuesday, but, um, but it was nice to go and do that. I love the wineries there where I'm from. So I always enjoy that. So for... Um, cuddles that is from once more with love and that is from the play with me stickers foil bundle um then from carly plans we have that 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 and that um and then that outside time script is from leonard designs which i do pr for her as well so if you'd like a discount then use the code world 15 for 15 percent off and you will get my freebie or just use my name in the notes if she's running a sale as well. And it will be a random foil. And then um, that wine pay is from Mick Plans. Okay, next on Tuesday, uh, we did order my favorite pizza place. Um, order from my favorite pizza place from my hometown. Uh, which I believe I mentioned in my Taylor Swift video that um, I am actually now friends with the owner because one of my friends bought the business. Um, and so because of that, um, he told me that like their cheese is like 90% lactose free. So people who have issues with lactose and dairy and stuff can you know, more easily eat it at least. Um, and I am dairy free if you did not know. So, um, he essentially, I, I'm also gluten free, so I kind of have to crust, but, um, he essentially was able to like put in an order for his kitchen to make me a pizza bowl. So it was just like, you know, what we, you would get is like a pasta bake, but with all the pizza toppings I chose. And then, um, light cheese and it was really tasty it did upset my stomach a little bit but it wasn't like it wasn't like cheese normally treats me so that was amazing because it's like the best pizza sauce I've ever had and I hadn't had it since 2017 I believe we did, we realized so that was delicious. Um, and then I was just uh, texting a couple friends this evening. Uh, then we did gifts for my father-in-law because his birthday um, was the next day. However, he was going to be driving the entire day and we had to like pack up in the morning and all that. So um, we just wanted to do it at a more low key time for him. So um, so yeah, and then we had just some like family time, just, just chatting and stuff about our trip and all that. For the pizza night script and the little gift pig, those are from McPlans. That is from Fox and Cactus. This and this are from Carly Plans. That's from a shop that's not open anymore. And then the Alexis Munchkin is from Once More With Love. All right, so on Wednesday, the first thing I marked was that um it was my father-in-law's birthday 
So, um, of course, even though it was kind of not the, not the most fun day for him driving, uh, from Illinois to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is probably ended up being about a seven or eight hour drive. I'm not honestly sure. It was a little confusing because we're crossing time zones. So, um, I think we left at eight and we got there around... Five Eastern, so whatever that time frame is. We also had three dogs in the car, and like that made it take longer because it stops with them and stuff. But yeah, it was a long drive, long day. So, um, so we, so after marking his birthday, I did mark packing, and then that was just like packing up the car basically because we had done all our pre packing the night before. And then I had a really bad stomach ache, which just kind of happens to me in the mornings. Um, but I was really trying not to get sick because I knew we were going to be in the car for a while. Um, I luckily didn't, but I had to like lay down on the couch and let everyone else pack. So that was kind of annoying because I wanted to help. Um, and then we drove to Tennessee. So I don't know. That bothers me. It's like off. Yeah, I'm going to mess it up if I pick it up. I'm just going to leave it. Okay. So for marking my father-in-law's birthday, um, I have that... I don't know why I'm doing this and this. Oh, and that wasn't even when I had a stomach ache. Whoops. Ugh. Um, so for marking his birthday, I have that cupcake from Carly Plans and a Scott Custom from Leonard Signs. And then for packing, oh boy, just dropped it on David's face. <laughs> Thankfully, I have an, a box of really. Well, maybe. I think it doesn't come off. I am clearly out of practice. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't struggle like this every time I come home. Okay, so <laughs> for packing, I have the uh, pack script from Carly Plans and the suitcase pig from Mick Plans for my tummy ache. That is a munchkin from What's Worth Love, and the tummy ache script is from Mick Plans, which is a custom. And then for uh, driving to Tennessee, I have that car from Carly Plans and a drive to script from Mick Plans, and I'm going to put in Tennessee there. Go write it in. And then after a very long day, we finally did arrive at the cabin. We had an Airbnb, um, which was like, um, I guess if you know anything about cabins, it was like a split log, but it was really nice. It smelled amazing. I walked in and I'm like, oh my gosh, it smells like cedar or something. I loved it. Um, but then of course I got used to it and I couldn't smell it anymore. But <laughs> Yeah, so um, the place was really nice, um, and my, um, I'm just going to, like, for the purposes of ease, call her my sister-in-law. Um, she's my husband's brother's girlfriend, so, <laughs> yeah, so my sister-in-law, like, basically greeted us with wine. Like, I was feeling really nauseous because we had gotten, like, on the... The windy back roads of Tennessee and like my mom is from Kentucky and I used to ride on back roads that were curvy and like hilly and stuff all the time but I am not used to it anymore so yeah I was feeling really bad so like yeah my stomach calmed down and she gave us wine which we all happily accepted because we were very tired from the long day <laughs> So then we went out for dinner. We went to a place called Alamo Steakhouse for my father-in-law's birthday um, to treat him to dinner since he, especially since he had had such a long day. Um, and then we went to Old Smoky Distillery for a moonshine tasting, which that's obviously not a moonshine thing, but I don't have like mason jar stickers, so yeah. Um, and that was really fun. Um, my brother and sister-in-law had been there before, like to Gatlinburg area. So they kind of knew a few places to go. So, um, yeah, so that was fun. And then we had a fire pit. We actually had two, but we only used one at the cabin. 
So um, I've, once we got back there, we just kind of hung out by the fire. So um, that is from Make Plans. Uh, that's from, this DV is from Once Birth Love. Carly Plans, Carly Plans, Make Plans, and then that's a shop that's not open. So the first thing I marked on Thursday is that it was National Wine Day. Um, which when you see kind of some of the stuff we do later, you'll think we did this intentionally. I mean, we kind of did, but, um, we didn't necessarily, basically we had plans to go to wineries this day. We were like talking about it. And then, um, I was like, oh yeah, it's National Wine uh, Day. And everybody was like, okay, it's settled. We're going. <laughs> Cause we were going back and forth between like options. So yeah so national wine day um and then we had brunch which was like in like an egg scramble oh gosh which side do i put this on i always get confused with these labels um i think like this okay i don't know I don't know how to use these. <laughs> That's why I really don't usually. Okay, so um, yeah, so brunch was like an egg scramble thing, and then um, some like really tasty bacon that my uh, my brother and sister in law had gotten from like the, a local place in Cincinnati, which is where they live, and. Um, yeah, that was delicious. And then I had a stomach ache, like not because of the food, just because of my <gasps> chronic pain. So that sucked, but I was able to power through it. <laughs> so for National Wine Day, I have those wine glasses from Carly Plans. And then for brunch, I have the, um, the script is from Planna Hannah and the Icon is a really old one from Carly Plans, but she does have breakfast themed stuff. And then for being in pain, I have, or my stomach ache slash pain, um, I have a Spoonie emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. and the So Much Pain script from Carly Plans. The next thing we did this day was we went to Lost Treasure Mini Golf, which I believe is in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We were going between like the town we were staying in, Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. So like it's all the same area, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure when we were in which area. I'm pretty sure this was Pigeon Forge though. Um so yeah, we played mini golf. That was really fun. I hadn't done that in years and um I lost, but I wasn't last place. So that was nice at least. Um, after mini golf, we just like grabbed some lunch, which I didn't mark because it was just fast food. And then we went to the apple barn cider house to taste some ciders. Um, and that was delicious. They had some really like unique ciders. Like we brought home a blueberry rhubarb cider, which we have already drank all of. And I'm very sad about it because it is super delicious. So I wish we bought more, but that's okay. Um, and then um, after that, we went to the Apple Barn Winery and Mountain Valley Winery. So Apple Barn Winery was like on the same property. We just literally walked down to a different part of the building. Um, the Mountain Valley Winery, we did have to drive for, but I guess they have like a, the, the cider place. And both of those wineries are part of the, I believe it's Rocky Top Wine Trail is what they call it. So they have their own wine trail and um, yeah, you get like stuff if you go to multiples. So when you, if you go to three, you get like a free wine glass. So we did that um, and then we stopped by Walmart to get groceries. Oh, which I forgot to say. Okay, so that... Um, golfing character is from McPlans. Uh, that is, well, that's uh, the hard cider and the Walmart bagger from Carly Plans. The wine glass is from Once More With Love, and the groceries script is from the foil bundle. 
and after we went and got our groceries we did actually go by hillside winery which is another one on that wine trail so that was number four i believe yeah four um and there's five total so if you get a five you get something else as well so we did four that day and then um we came back to the cabin and my sister-in-law makes this really tasty chili so she made that for us and that was really good um and then we basically just like hung out by the fire pit the rest of the night we um you know, we had a few drinks. My um, father-in-law had gotten some, like, kind of nicer whiskey for um, his birthday from my brother-in-law and his girlfriend. So, um, so we all tried that. He, like, brought us out, like, a tray of <laughs> a, little, a little shot of it. So that was cute. I was like, oh, I feel like I'm being served. Um, I mean, I guess I was. So... Yeah, so for the uh, last winery, that wine glass is from Carly Plans. For the family dinner, the Jocelyn Munchkin is from What's Worth Love. And the script is from a shop that's not open. And then for uh, Hanging Out by the Fire Pit, the Fire Time script and the Fire Pit sticker is from Carly Plans. Friday, we had a really just low-key chill morning. Um, since we had done a lot the day before, we took it slow. Um, we didn't like sleep in exactly, but we, um, or at least I wasn't able to, I wasn't really able to sleep in this whole trip, but we just kind of like took it easy. We didn't get going very fast. So we just kind of like hung out, talked and all that. Um, so I just worked family time for that. And then, um, once we had had like our breakfast and just, um, chilled, we did start playing some games. This was a day that we just decided we were going to kind of stay in mostly and play board games. Uh, cause we really like to do that as a family. My brother-in-law, um, specifically really is into board well him and his girlfriend are really into board games so yeah so that was really fun um i don't think this is all gonna fit okay that might be slightly too small but we'll see i think it'll work um i'm really not used to the spc format uh so i don't know i feel like the I feel like they, I want more little things, honestly. And I don't know if it's just the way I usually plan or if it's the fact that it's a vacation week and I just need a lot of boxes. But I guess I could have used extenders. Um, but it's fine. Um, so, yes, we started playing games. We played the game Just One. It was the first one we played this day, um, which was a pretty fun, like, simple game for, you know, big groups or, like, a family. Then we went outside and we played um, A Fake Artist Goes to New York. So that was super fun. Um, I would definitely recommend it, especially with a few drinks, but either way, it's fun. Um if you're not a good artist it's honestly more enjoyable i feel like uh because we started out the game trying to be real precise and stuff and like essentially you are um you're trying to draw something and you're all drawing the same thing together and you can make like one single stroke with your uh, marker each turn and you only get two turns and there is an imposter in the group and they don't know what you are drawing and so you want to make it specific enough that people know you're not the imposter but not so specific that the imposter figures out what it is because if you all pick the imposter and then they guess what it is they still win so yeah so it was fun um i was the imposter like four or five times and we played it like a good amount so i was like seriously but um it was stressful being the imposter but it was also fun so good times 
Um, and then once we were done with that, we went just like basically down the road to a place called King's Family Distillery. We did a bourbon tasting. They also have like vodkas and other stuff. Um, we tasted more than just bourbon, but that's what I had as far as stickers. Um, then we went to a pizza place and... Um, because I can't eat like regular pizza, everybody else got pizza, and then I got a salad and fries. Um, so that Moira Munchkin is from Once More With Love. The uh, family time script is from McPlants. The game board bourbon script and too lazy to cook script, as well as the salad, are from Carly Plans. The outside time script is from Leonard Designs, that's from Paper and Milk. That is from Sticky Perks, and the fries peeking out are from Fox and Cactus. If I forget to say where something is from, just let me know, because I'm clearly just, like, talking through things. Oh my god, did I? I crammed all that in there, and then I had this whole box. Well, I'm just going to put, like, a another full box in there I guess because oops I'm not undoing all of this makes more sense why I had a bigger sticker for playing the game outside though after we got back from the pizza place which was literally down the like next door to that bourbon place um or distillery I guess uh we just kind of hung out by the fire pit again we were enjoying doing that, especially at night when the weather wasn't as hot. And then um, there was a hot tub. So my husband and I decided to get in the hot tub and hang out. Um, and it was really relaxing until <laughs> um, Link, our 10-month-old puppy, was just like on the patio with us like not leashed or anything because he listens pretty well usually um he decided that he wanted to be where we were and he full-on running jump launched himself into the hot tub and my husband luckily like caught him i mean he did get wet and splash us but caught him before he was like fully in there so then we're just like yelling um because obviously the jets make noise uh until my father-in-law came and like took him and tied him up on a leash you know to where he couldn't get in but oh my gosh <laughs> that was uh that was intense <laughs> and then a little bit after my um, sister-in-law came in and like hung out with us in the hot tub for a bit so that was fun um, it was really nice and relaxing. It felt amazing on my back because um, it was just hurting from not being in my bed and from life. So after our hot tub time, we played um, Betrayal a couple of times. And then we played Point Salad. Um, so that was a good time. Um, so for Fire Time... Uh, the swimsuit, the game board, those are all Carly plans. That is from um, that and that are from Mick plans. That's from the foil bundle in the kit, and that is from Leonard Designs. Saturday morning, we had um, well, everybody had breakfast burritos, but since I can't have like flour tortillas and corn tortillas are honestly a joke when it comes to burritos. Um, I had a breakfast burrito bowl, but it was still just as tasty. Um, and then after that, we decided we wanted to go to this little, like, theme park, or I guess it's probably not little, um, a theme park called Anakista, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, however, we got there, and because it was Saturday on Memorial Day weekend, it was so busy, like, we didn't even know where we were going to find parking. The line to even get in was just insane. So we decided not to go, which was fine because we had some other plans, um, which, I mean, was what we did next. Um, we went to different craft shops. There's, like, a little craft shop area there in one of the, one of the towns there. I believe they're in... Pigeon Forge, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of craft shops, and I had noticed because we were like, oh, we'll just go to them tomorrow um, if we go to this, you know, theme park. 
but I saw a sign and it was like closed Sunday and then we looked it up and they were all closed Sunday and I hadn't thought about that. They're like closed for church, I guess, but um, yeah, so it worked out because we could not have gone to them on Sunday and I really wanted to and thoroughly enjoyed them. So um, yeah, so then, so we went shopping to several different places. I'm not going to mark them all because that's just like a lot, but I did take down the names of them uh, in case you're ever in that area uh, because I really enjoyed them all. So the Artsy Olive has different kinds of oils for cooking and like we got a Harissa oil olive oil i believe i can't remember what it was called exactly but it's really tasty you get to taste them all um they also have different like balsamic vinegars so we got a cucumber lemon balsamic vinegar that i'm really excited to use for salads um so yeah that was that place there was concrete statuary designs which had just different like concrete statues <laughs> um fiber creations which they had a lot of cool stuff um one of like they have a lot of like different like they have papers and stuff they have a lot of different types of art um i'm gonna just like show you real quick this is something i got from there so it's like a little bear but it's like marbled um yeah he's super cute so <laughs> So yeah, that was another place. And then there was Terry Chandler Gallery, which we got a couple of prints from, um, one as a gift and one for ourselves. Yeah, so that was all the places we went. Then um, we went to Old Forge Distillery and um, we tried different kinds of like there was like whiskey there was vodka gin i think i just tried the whiskey and the gin um and they were okay um they also had moonshine tastings which we tried and those were those were better i like those more um they had a lot of unique flavors um I don't know, I just find it interesting and also like moonshine distilleries are not really something that we have here in, you know, Kansas City or anything. So um, it's something different in the South. So I enjoyed that. And, um, and then after that, we went to uh, Millbridge Winery because we, that was in the same area with a walking distance. And that was our last like, winery on our little wine trail thing and we got like these uh thermos cup things for going to all five and they also had cider too which was cool because we got to try the cider and the wines so so it was fun um and then we had um dinner at pottery house cafe which was good after that, when we got back to the cabin, I went on a little walk with my sister-in-law because I was just feeling kind of nauseous and fresh air helps. And then we just like stuck our feet in the hot tub and just chatted for a while. Um, then we were all just really tired from the day and basically knocked out. So we go through all the stickers real quick. <laughs> so I just talked through all that. So we've got... Let's see. These are from Carly Plans. That's from Plana Hannah. Foil Bundle. Pink Diamond Planner Co. Coffee Monsters Co. Mick Plans. Um, I'm not sure where that's from. Um, Carly Plans. Once More With Love. Mick Plans. And Kristen's Planner. All right. And this is just like a, I just did an extender for extra box, boxes, which I guess I could have done down here since I crammed everything in, but whatever, I added Roland. <laughs> so, that's okay. So, the next morning, Sunday morning, I woke up with an anxiety attack, which just kind of happens sometimes, but is unfortunate. 
Um, and then I had some like gluten-free waffles we had gotten me when we went grocery shopping for breakfast. And this day I believe it was like raining, so we did another game day. Uh, so after breakfast we played Century um, Golem Edition, I believe. Golem, Golem? I, I don't know. Um, I think it's Golem. Um, it's really cute. I really like the game. I never win, but it's, it's super cute and fun. So I enjoyed that. Um, and then we played, well, we had lunch, which I didn't mark. And then we played Azul, which I had never played before. Um, that was pretty fun and fairly simple, but like, that's kind of nice sometimes because it's hard to always catch on to complicated games. Um, so for... For the anxiety attack, I have that David Munchkin from Once More With Love and the anxiety attack script from Carly Plans. For the waffles, the icon is from Carly Plans and the script is from Plana Hannah. And then that game board is from Carly Plans and the girl with game board is from Mick Plans. Next, I took a little break to read. Um, I was not the only one. We were just kind of like having our own little time for just a little bit that day. And then after reading, we got back to playing games. So we played Long Shot, which I was really excited because I won and I don't hardly ever win games. So that made me happy. And then um, after that, we had dinner. We had brats that my father-in-law grilled because there was a grill there too. Um, and I'm curious, like, do you say brats for bratwurst or do you like say the whole word? I don't know if it's like a regional thing. I, I have no clue. So let me know if you say it any differently than me. Um, oh gosh, I did not space these properly. Um, and then after that, we played uh, Wavelength, which we my team won twice. It's a pretty fun game too. Um, doesn't require a lot of brain power. We were kind of going for that <laughs> as it was towards the end of the trip and the end of the night. Um, and then we played more of An Artist in New York. And it just got real weird because we were really tired and loopy and it was fun. <laughs> and we were also like having wine and moonshine and things. So yeah, it was, it was a good time. So for reading, the Kindle is from Carly Plans. The script is from the Foil Bundle. And then for uh, playing long, long Shot, the character is from One's Word Love. For our brats, I have that grilling character from McPlans, and then the script, shop's not open. And then for Wavelength, the cards are from Carly Plans, as well as the crayons and the family game night script. So that's everything. I will go ahead and stop and write things in, and then show you the finished spread after that. Uh, before I show the full spread, I did forget to mention I do PR for Mick Plans. So if you use the code Laurel20, you'll get 20% off in my freebie. And if you put Laurel in the notes, you'll get my freebie as well. Okay, this is my spread in full. I'm just going to show you all the little boxes. Um, and I did put Roland in there. I think I showed that earlier, but yeah. <laughs> so that was my vacation week. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you next time. Bye.